What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? Today, we're going to be taking a look at a portion of my discussion with Antonio Superats. If you don't know who that is, this is this guy. So, daytime, nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. Today we're going to be talking about Antonio and his uh, ideas about why things disappear over the curve. So I hope that you're interested in this particular section. There will probably be a little bit of a bleed over from the previous section about Erast, uh, Eratosthenes. But uh, I let me know what you think in the comments below as you're watching this video. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're going to go to Godless Engineer's question. Um, yes, Godless Engineer. Please, <laughs> okay. uh, please, yeah, just take it anywhere. Ask about ask about uh, ta the the specials at Taco Bell. Just go somewhere different than this. <laughs> <laughs> wherever, wherever you want. Okay, uh, well, Antonio, because I don't really know your content at all, and I'm fairly certain that you probably addressed this before, but. Um, if the Earth is flat, then uh, why do we see things going over a curve? Hmm. That's a great question. Um, should I give you a bullshitty answer, or should I give you what I think? If you're being consistent, right. you can go with the bullshitty answers. But it's up to you. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I would have to. No, no, no. Give me, give me what you really think, please. I want to okay. hear what you really think. I don't want a bullshit answer. I want to hear what you really think. Why do we? Notice like ships disappearing bottom up and other things that disappear bottom up as uh, they get hidden by the curve. Okay, so as they get hidden by the horizon, you mean? Yeah. Well, yes. So if you know when I said to you earlier, if you came across compelling evidence, what would you do? If I showed you compelling evidence of a boat beyond the horizon where you can see literally the bottom of the boat, despite it being beyond the curved Earth's horizon, what would you do with that? Would you say that you're not seeing the bottom of the boat, even though it's a boat that actually has hydrofoils? So you can literally see it's on the water, you can see the bottom of the boat, and you can see that the horizon is beyond it. The boat itself is supposed to be beyond the horizon. Three meters is supposed to be mis missing, according to your Earth curve calculators. Is that what you're okay. asking about? Well, I, I, I mean, I'm fairly certain that we can uh, explain that, like, you know, with science and shit, like either by refraction or by the fact that you're just zooming in on a ship that hasn't actually gone past the curve. So, I mean, I, I'm fairly that, certain, like. Or it's a ship that sat nav um, tells you, um, or GPS tells you, is at the distance that the globe says you shouldn't be seeing the bottom of that ship. I can show you uh, well, every that. time that I've every time that I've looked at like you know those particular claims, it's always been either you've zoomed in with your P nine hundred or uh, refraction is causing like a mirage or something like that. It's you know you could you could. You supposedly can see the boat, but it's really just a mirror image of the boat or whatnot. So, I mean, uh, it, there's any number of natural phenomena that can actually explain why you might be seeing it when it's so far past the curve. But at some point, it disappears behind the curve, bottom up, without getting smaller or anything like that from like where it's hidden to where it's visible. Sometimes it disappears from what appears to be the sky, and it di disappears from all sides. Isn't that curious? Okay. okay. What What is your explanation for it disappearing? The explanation for it disappearing is the limits of the angular resolution. You can't see no. to infinity. Oh, sorry, I forgot. You guys think that you can see to infinity. You think that the black of the night sky is infinity. 
No? Uh, oh, wait, uh, if, if you listen to some clothings, the universe actually has a specific size. I heard recently. That's a new one. It has a, an actual specific size. Okay. The universe. Is that right? The, you you're not you're not explaining though why is it that you can like you can use like why can't you use a telescope to zoom in on these boats and and see the complete full boat if we live on a flat earth because the when we talk about angular resolution it's very easy for us to think only of the mathematics okay and like with this think of an abstract okay in reality, the angular resolution is dictated by light and the atmosphere and the distance, not just size and distance. So you can have a ship disappear into the sky, what looks like the sky. It's actually the sky is reflecting on the water. The ship, the bottom of the ship appears to have disappeared. I'll give you that. The bottom of the ship appears to have disappeared. <laughs> but now it appears to be disappearing into the middle of the sky. So light is having a phenomenal effect where it looks like the ship is in the sky disappearing. You can now pull out the most powerful telescope in the world and it will not present that ship to you because the light is not available, not even for that telescope. Okay, but I mean, we can, you, you, can, you can look out and you can see distant stars and distant planets that are way farther away than any boat can be. So... <laughs> Uh, Wait. It doesn't actually make sense what you're saying. Okay. When you say distant stars and distant planets, is, would they be gas uh, light emitting bodies like the sun? Gaseous plasmas mm. that emit uh, no, like consistent Mars. spectrum. Yeah, but the stars, you said distant stars. The sun, according to your model, I, I, is. Well, uh, I, I didn't... Well, like for instance, the moon is verifiably two hundred and forty thousand miles away from the Earth. I mean, not exactly. There's, you know, the the orbit changes and whatnot, and uh, it's actually the orbit's expanding at a small rate each year. But I mean, you could use very basic science and mathematics in order to determine how far away the moon actually is. If you know how big it is, exactly the same distance as the sun, isn't it? Because you can triangulate the moon and you could triangulate the moon when there's an eclipse happening off the sun. In which case, the sun could be two meters behind the moon, couldn't it? And be the same size as the moon. Just slightly smaller. Hmm? Slightly smaller. Yeah. No? No, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. Right now. I'm talking about how okay, so you can bounce like a laser off of the reflectors that were left off, left on the moon. And then you can time it how far it takes the laser to travel there and back uh, using the speed of light and determine exactly how fast it is. And that's a very simple calculation. Or that's how, fast, how, how far away it is. And uh, you could determine exactly how far away the, the moon is. It's a very basic calculation to do. So, I mean, given that, I mean, the fact that we can see the moon and we can actually use a telescope to see even more detail on the moon, it does not make sense that you just don't have enough light to see a boat on the surface of the Earth that's uh, so many miles away. Wait a second. When we're looking at the moon, really, we're not looking at it at the horizon through the daytime. When we're talking about these boats, we're talking about daytime and there's... Riley scattering so there's uh, there's too much information too much light but you mentioned um the moon reflectors and uh, i think steve was i think you were you making steve go to sleep then he kind of leaned over and uh, went no that's not him so, oh no it wasn't it wasn't him. ge doing that I've, <laughs> it's you who, who you was it the who same was thing. it who was it? These are the uh, same arguments we've heard a million times and refuted a million times. Oh, brilliant. It's just brilliant. boring to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing that's, new. That's Although brilliant. what you the first thing you said was interesting with, when it came to the, like okay. um, Aristophanes' experiment because you had such a fundamental misunderstanding of it was entertaining. This is just wait, wait a second. Wait a second. The, the fundamental. This is what happens with you guys. You think that the things that you think are true are complex. They're very simple. Okay, the well, let's not. The story of Eratosthenes is very get, simple, which is why I get, get back to you the three different versions. Let's not get sidetracked. Uh, 
Go back to okay. answering GE's question. Let's not go back to Aristosthenes. Go back Excellent. to um. Okay. Yes. Reflect us on the moon, Dave. Uh, will you play my videos? Thank you, heathens, for making it to the end. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how I made it through that. I can tell you right now, I needed more beer. If you will, please go down below, leave me your thoughts if you didn't already. While you're down there, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice, and I will see you heathens later.